long ago in a small town called Cherokee lived a girl named Summer and a boy they called Zali. It says imagination is more important than knowledge. Sequoia had that imagination. He had that vision. To me, he's a Einstein. <laughs> His Cherokee name was Sequoia. His work was destroyed by some of the community people, even his wife. He went back and started all over again, and it was a great thing, it was a great invention, because it's helped us to preserve the language. It is a syllabary uh, because uh, the uh, characters, in most cases, approximate a syllable. So, ga, uh, ka, ge, gi, go, gu, go. It's very interesting from the perspective of the fact that uh, you would have literally thousands of years, say, for the writing of European languages, where you would go from writing it to printing it. And so, but for this language, uh, he finished his work on the, the writing system in 1821, if I remember correctly. And then 1828, you have the first printed form of it in the Cherokee Phoenix newspaper. And in fact, that is the second iteration of the writing system. The original one that um, Sequoia developed was much more calligraphic. And so they converted it rather fast from this original calligraphic writing system to one uh, which uh, does look like Roman letters in a lot of cases. It was said to have been quickly uh, taken uh, the, uh, and used, and then the, the paper started printing in, in 1828. The first editor, Elias Boudelant, was very intent on uh, promoting uh, the need for uh, the Cherokee to stay in what is now the eastern United States. And you see that move to a place where he eventually signed the final treaty removal and uh, lost his life because of it. Uh, so um, um, the newspaper sort of is a microcosm of the pressures that you see um, one group of people uh, living under uh, while they're trying to deal with the loss essentially of their country, their home.